All right, guys, speaking of uh, gloves off uh, political fighting, there's a new DeSantis ad that was released where he's taking aim at Trump, who's, of course, uh, winning by a lot in the Republican primary. And this is interesting because look at the angle that DeSantis uses going after Trump. This is something to watch. Break the cycle of amnesty. Those days are over. And yet today, in a remarkable twist, the president held a televised meeting with the very swamp creatures he once denounced. He told them he trusted them to craft immigration policy without his input. The White House proposal would legalize about two million people who currently have no right to be here. That's a lot of people. A path to citizenship for 1.8 million illegal immigrants, almost three times more people than the previous administration covered. Then he suggested he'd be willing to accept any deal they produced, even a bad one. I will be signing it. I'm not going to say, oh, gee, I want this or I want that. I'll be signing it. And here's the part that made Jeb Bush all warm and fuzzy. It should be a bill of love. Truly, it should be a bill of love. Very few of the president's supporters voted for that when they put him in office last year, and some of them are upset about it. My kids were born and raised in America. We have dreams, too. Right-wing media like Breitbart calling the president amnesty Don. You've given them more than they could ever have expected from Barack Obama. Donald Trump ran on the premise that America's borders ought to be real, that the repeated amnesties of the past have betrayed voters, and that this country deserves an immigration policy that looks out for American interests. If you are in the so-called establishment Republican Party, this has been a great stretch yep. for you. So what was the point of running for president? Ron DeSantis, man. Ron DeSantis. Look, I find it... I find it adorable in a way because Ron DeSantis is still operating under the illusion that policy matters to these Republican voters. They are He's still operating under, I would call it an illusion, it's more of a delusion that if I just show people, if I just prove that I'm to the right of Donald Trump, they'll vote for me. And that's why, for example, he signed a six-week abortion ban in Florida. And guess what? Not only did he not go up in the polls, homie went down in the polls. So he's tried to outflank Trump on his right to say, I'm the most pure, I'm the most ideologically driven of anybody in this race. But you misunderstood the phenomenon of Trump to begin with. Because in 2016, he wasn't the furthest right. In fact, on some issues, he was the furthest left. You know, he was the only Republican who was saying, I'm not going to cut your Social Security, I'm not going to cut your Medicare. In other ways, he was furthest to the right, and in some ways, he was right smack dab in the middle of mainstream establishment Republican position. It's not about any of that. Ron, it's about the show. It's about the charisma. It's about triggering the libs. It's about the same people that hate Trump are the same people that I hate, so, you know, I'm going to align with him as a result of that. That explains... Trumpism at this late date. There was a time when it was a mix of like bigotry and xenophobia and populist policies that explained the, some of the support in 2016. Now it's just cult following. He's putting on a show. I love the show. I want to see the next season. That's where they're at now. So she's, he's trying to hit Trump on, actually, you're soft on immigration. You're amnesty Don. You're open borders Donald. That's what you are. Do you think anybody in their right mind is going to believe yeah, the problem with Trump is that he was too soft on immigration. Here's the guy who initially had a freaking family separation policy. You know, after massive backlash, he changed that. Good. I'm glad he changed that. But this is the guy who did uh, remain in Mexico. You know, this is the guy who tried to flout due process to kick more people out. This is who Donald Trump is. This is a guy who tried to go around Congress to have some of his wall built. The idea, like, you really think you're going to be able to take on Trump by building this mythology that he's like an open borders lefty or something? Like, what are you talking about? Not only are there no Republicans in D.C. that are for open borders, there's not even any Democrats in D.C. that are actually for open borders. And your attack on Trump is he's weak on immigration. The guy who launched his campaign last time and said... Uh, you know, the Mexicans are coming here, the illegals, they're criminals, they're rapists. I assume some are good people. The guy who fear-mongered about MS-13 getting into the gun, this is the guy who you're going to say, you're too weak on the border. You should say 100% of the people who come in here are MS-13. Now, by the way, 
they were talking about a potential deal, which of course fell through. We didn't get anything, but they were talking about an immigration deal where they said uh, it would have a path to citizenship for 1.8 million immigrants. Now you look, oh my God, outrageous, terrible. Oh. There's over 10 million undocumented immigrants in this country, over 10 million. So you're talking about having a path to citizenship for less than 20% of them. And that's a problem for you? That's a problem. I want to kick out everybody. I want to do concentration camps and deportation camps. And remember back in the day, I'm not kidding about this. Back in the day, there was a U.S. policy called Operation Wetback. Let's bring that back. Let's do that. The idea that you're going to get convince people, number one, Trump is soft on immigration. And number two, I, Ron DeSantis, am to the right of him, and you're going to vote for me for policy reasons. Dude, the reason why they're not voting for you is because of your colossal, colossal lack of charisma. That's why they're not voting for you. Your inability to give the people the show that they want. Look, on, in a sense, I'm sympathetic to the DeSantis voters because they're the, it's almost like they're like the Elizabeth Warren voters of the Democratic side from the last election, where the Elizabeth Warren... I, she has a plan! She has a policy! Look at her policy! Like, that's what the Elizabeth Warren people were. DeSantis supporters are kind of like that. It's the right-wing version of that. It's like the right-wing intelligentsia online that are all obsessed with, like, like the particulars of how to be bigoted and xenophobic and horrible and wrong on everything. Uh, but th this ain't the path. But look, again, I'll say this in conclusion, that it ultimately it didn't matter. It didn't, like, matter how he ran. Because it looks like he was between a rock and a hard place, and uh, he was going to collapse at some point. I actually think his analysis was kind of right when he came out and said, I wish Trump never got indicted because as soon as he got indicted, that's when he started skyrocketing in the polls again. That's right. It's all about Trump triggers the libs the best. Tr the biggest enemy um, of the libs is Trump. And because of that, these people back Trump, right? So he's he. I think he correctly points out that like there's this messiah complex around Trump. And like, how do you pierce that? It's not by running an article pretending like Trump is weak on immigration, right? He's still very far right on immigration. It just makes me think, well, what the hell would you do if Trump was if Trump was too soft for you? Like, what exactly would you do? Would you have, like, illegal internment camps? Illegal immigrant internment camps or something? Like, Jesus Christ. Anyway, um, gloves are off, man. Gloves are off. I'd love to see more videos like this, too, where DeSantis pretends like Trump is, like, he's not right wrong enough on this issue and that issue. I'd love to see it. Give me the social security one, you know, posture to the right of him on that. I want to cut your grandma's pay. I will cut it. Let me know how that works for you. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.